So this morning, hello, I was getting, before I start filming, I was getting ready to do some dyeing. So like my dyes are out, my pans are out. I've basically destroyed my kitchen. This is all wool that I was planning on working on. And I got the emails that my paradise packages were out for delivery and I accidentally saw a spoiler, my fault. And so I figured this is all just serendipitous. Let's open it. Who's excited? All of this, by the way, was in my mailbox. They fit all this in to my mailbox this morning. Isn't that crazy? Anyway, let's open it. Hi, welcome to Fiber Love Diary. I'm Trisha if we haven't met, and if we have met, welcome back. What's up? It is November 2020. This is a strange land we're living in, but you know what? We're still living. We're still getting up in the morning. I haven't been sick yet. It's not really funny because in our neighboring town, the hospital is full. They're talking about opening a like second hospital that they recently closed. <sighs> Yeah, but I haven't been sick. So today, my subscription came. This is the five Paradise Fibers subscription package. And if you're new here, what you may not know is that I buy one and then they send me one to open on my channel and I give one of these away to one of you guys. So if you wanna enter to win one of these, just comment on any video starting with this one going up until the last one before the next package comes then i draw a winner for this package at the end of this video make sure you stick around for the drawing for last month's which was a pretty cool one so I, as i said i accidentally saw a spoiler i kind of follow a couple threads in ravelry and the paradise group i don't really participate but i do follow it i'm very careful you guys know i've talked about it before i'm very careful not to accidentally click on the spoilers thread because my package always takes longer to get to me than the ones that are closer to Spokane. This month I accidentally clicked on it and someone had posted a picture so I have a clue what's in this. I clicked off pretty quickly but you know it's my own fault you got to be more careful than that you know. So all right let's Ooh, before I open this, I have a serious question. Hang on. Okay, so the serious question. I love this. It's gonna start out with a little short story. It's short, I promise. I love smelly candles. I like fruity ones and ones that smell like cookies and that kind of thing. I always save the jars or vases or whatever they're in and I put some cute little vinyl on some of these. And I have all this candle stuff and I was gonna give it away for just fun little gifts. One person in particular said she liked this one, so I'm saving it for her, but would you, if you were receiving this as a gift, would you prefer someone just put a little votive candle in it or poured a like real candle? Cause I have some of those, I don't have them out, but I have some wood wicks and I have all the like scents and the candle wax and all that. And I was like thinking I was gonna do that. Oh, vote, tell me, would you rather someone poured a candle in it or just put like a little votive in it. Thanks, I need your input because I'm not sure what to do. Okay, so let's open this package. I don't know, yep, you can read it. It says foraged on it. There is a person in a poncho in some very mossy woods on this bag. I'm always being really careful not to cut anything inside the bag. So far, no problem. So I don't really think it's an issue. Okay. All right, who's excited? I'm gonna take out my letter first. Ooh, Polworth, yes! So the foundation stock is 75% Merino, 25% Lincoln. I did not know that. Came about by breeding Merino rams to Lincoln Merino ewes. A decadent 100% certified organic Polworth top from the Falkland Islands. 
The wool is sourced from two family farms on the islands where the sheep are raised organically without being dipped for pesticides. Oh, that's nice. Here's my in your bag thing. Oh, and then this has, oh, okay. So this says spin, die, and give thanks. It's um, about what we, another thing that's in here. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you about it after. All right, so what's in your bag? Oh wow, there's a project bag in here. Help me. Look at this. <gasps> you guys. Are you serious? This is a plain canvas bag. You know I'm gonna do something with this. Well, it's not canvas. It's probably like heavy muslin. Okay, but still. <gasps> okay. Oh my goodness, I'm all tied up. All right, so approximately six ounces of organic Polworth wool top, and this is so soft, and one 16 by 15 lightweight and reusable cotton tote bag. Okay, we picked this bag to put your fiber in this month in order to offer you an additional canvas for your creativity to blossom on. Oh my gosh. And this, you guys, is like butter. I didn't expect it. I've had Polworth before and it's never been this soft. Wow. Okay, so definitely, definitely going in the soak, ba soak bowl right now. Oh my gosh, okay. All right, <clears throat> there's more in this bag. That's not just all, but I am totally gonna make something cool out of this bag. Oh. All right. Dye stuff. Approximately half ounce of ground walnut hulls. A mordant mixture of 1.5 ounces of alum and 0.5 ounces of cream of tartar and one empty wood pulp sachet to steep the walnut dye in. Okay, so it's basically like a tea bag because you're gonna make you some walnut tea. All right. So, are these labeled? Yep, this is the mordant they sent. It's in a nice Ziploc bag and it's zipped shut. This is quite a bit of mordant. Do you need all this? Holy cow. And then this is the bag full of, of walnut husks. I have never seen it ground this fine. Holy moly. Oh, got a little on me. And then here is the steeping bag. Basically, like I said, it's just like a tea bag. So you open it up and put it in there. Okay. And then this is in a green velvet bag. Hello. That would be perfect for Christmas, I love it. And it also has a um, material safety data sheet on their blog, just so you guys know, like, just because this is sort of considered a food item doesn't mean that you can just like do this without protective gear. So if you're gonna do it, please do go and read their um, information on their blog on the safety. Oh, there's more in here. All right. <laughs> One limited edition vinyl sheep sticker, Noom. Get it? Look how cute he is. I'm totally into the gnomes right now too. One caffeine-free stashed blueberry superfruit tea. Oh, guys, I gave up caffeine this week and I'm like dying. And then one handmade Amanita Muscaria mushroom stitch marker. Look how cute it is. It's like the Smurfs. If you're a child of the 80s like me, you know this. Look how freaking adorable that is. So some of you are gonna be like, oh, I hope you die with a walnut. I'm sorry, I, brought, I probably I probably won't. Natural dying so far has just 
not been my friend. I am an unnatural dyer. <laughs> Thank you so much for this package this month. I needed the pick me up. Like giving up caffeine this week is kicking my butt. Um, I've been ratcheting it down and I decided John's gone hunting this week and I thought if I'm gonna be psychotic, this is the right week because he won't have to witness it. And it's been awful. <laughs> So I really needed this pick me up. Thank you so much. I can't wait to start looking for what I'm going to put on this bag. Everything's so beautiful this month and so like natural and I really like that right now. You guys do not leave because I'm about to give away last month's bag. It was the Halloween bag. Let's go pick a winner. Okay, so this is almost always the most fun, right? So one, two, three, four, five six videos since the last unboxing that was Gus he's snoring you guys okay so what I do is pick which video and then pick a comment from that video so it's video number four so one two three four that's the one where I spun up the last box so let me quick grab this link and we will pick a winner Okay, so 84 comments. Obviously, if it's me, it doesn't count. Nuclear fish, you win. So all you have to do is email me at fiberlovediary at gmail.com with your snail mail address and I will mail it to you. Congratulations. Oh, thanks guys. I love you. Bye.